Hi everyone, it's Crystal back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I have, I, I'm fairly new to YouTube, but I plan on doing hauls, DIYs, organization, um, cooking videos, and whatever crazy other ideas I come up with. <laughs> um, but anyway, let me jump into this haul. Um, I did show a few things in my last video and that was um, the video where I turned my baker's rack into a breakfast station for my kiddos. So if you want to go over and check that video out, I will link it below. Um, and be sure to watch that one if you're interested. And let's jump into this haul. Alright, so I'm going to start with my kiddo stuff and just kind of get it out of the way. I thought this was really cool and it's already been open because my two year old wanted to see it. Um, and it is a toy from Inside Out. It, all they had was Anger. And I looked for the other characters. Let's see, they have Joy, Sadness, Fear, Disgust, and Musical Bing Bong. <laughs> but um, all I saw was Anger. So I got this one for my 11-year-old. She really likes that movie, so I thought she'd really enjoy this. And I think he holds the little orb thing. That or I'm just shoving this on his thumb for no reason, but like that. I think he's really cute. So I got her that. Um, the my 12 year old stepdaughter just turned 12 yesterday, but she likes Adventure Time, and she was like started reading this book in the store, and I was like, just just get it. If you found it, you like it, get it. So we got her that, and then Trinity wanted these. This has been gotten into it already too yeah <laughs> but trinity wanted a coloring book and some um crayons and you get 10 in a pack they're the play school brand they're the jumbo crayons for her little hands so we got her those and then a frozen coloring book i'm curious because it says free disney color and play app for iphone ipad and android devices bring your coloring pages to life in 3d so this is probably too advanced for her, but I mean, she can, she can watch me help her do it and we'll see what the app is all about. Cause I'm, I'm really curious. All right. And then I finally found these, these, um, decals or more of them. I think I bought like one or two a while back, but, um, I think I only bought one actually, cause that was the only one I found, but I don't remember what it says. I have it in my stockpile of stickers over there. But um, I picked these ones up as well. I think these were the only three that were there too. And it has love and peace. And then these both are the same. They say be wild and free. And they are dishwasher safe. Great for mugs, bottles, walls, devices, and more. So I'll probably give the extra one to my 13 year old. She likes to craft and, you know, make things cute for school or whatever. So I'll probably give that to her. Um, another thing I finally found. Because I saw people haul this in like... I'm pretty sure before Christmas and I I love incense I can't burn them a whole lot because my, my husband has asthma if I could speak um, but these smell really good and I can burn them when he's not home when he's at work and it shouldn't bother him too much hopefully but yeah I like chocolate strawberry it smells good I got those and then okay so this accidentally ended up in my bags my mom was with me when we went to one of the stores and she loves peacocks and she had bought this for, well, I actually bought it, but no big deal. Um, but she actually got it for herself and then she called me yesterday and she was like, I forgot my peacock in your bag. And I was like, oh, that's all right. So I gotta say, keep this safe for her, but this is so pretty. I've never really seen a red or a peacock with red in it and I think that's really cute. A lot of her home home decor stuff is red like mine, so um, similar tastes. Uh, another, oh, Trinity did get something else. She got this cup. It is a Greenbrier product. I thought it was a Zach brand cup when I got it just because, I don't know, all the other ones we've ever gotten were Zach. But, um, I mean, it's still BPA free, so that's good. She doesn't really use the water bottle type too much, but... She liked it, so maybe she'll use it. And then it has the snack container on the bottom. It doesn't say 
like how many ounces or anything like that, but um, we never fill our cups up all the way anyway. All right. One of the things I found in the gardening section was these S hooks and they're pretty heavy duty, like, and they're rather large. Um, it says metal garden hook, two pieces in each bag. Um, I just got, I have no particular reason to get these except for, you know, those times where you're like, hey, I could use this and then you go to the store and you forget to buy it and then the moments pass until you come across that thing you needed it for again. Yeah, this was one of those purchases, <laughs> except the other way around. I picked them up because I know I've said that to myself, I could use an S hook with this and didn't have any and then I forgot to buy them at the store. So now I have some for when I need them and I figure out why in the world I needed them. So yeah, <laughs> totally random explanation and buy, but whatever. at my work I always have to use gloves. So um, these are Fitzmo size, durable, ultra thin. Um, latex free texture tex textured nitrile exam gloves. I try to read too fast and throw it all in one word. Um, feeds either hand, single use, medical quality, and you get 10, 10 in a pack? Yeah. 10 in a pack. Um, I just buy, I have a guy that delivers my gloves for my work, but sometimes I run out before I get to call him or somebody else run out of gloves and we just you know, it's good to have a backup few sets just in case. So that's what those are for. Now I got these for my little Trinity, my two year old, because these are the only type of hair ties that stay in her hair. <laughs> and it, the other ones, like the regular hair bands, just, they just slip right out because she still has that baby fine hair. So I got these and these are really cute because some of them have little jewels. I don't know if you guys can see those. In each color and you get 30 clasp free I cannot speak English today clasp well uh, clasp free ponytail holders <sighs> spit it out all right so we got those for her um, I I love these bowls and I had a set of black ones you get two in a pack and they're really big they're great for like um, like say you're making a one pan dinner but you have to like cook something and then take it out and set it to the side or and it's like a rather large portion or you have something that you need to mix uh, dry and then the, your wet stuff or like um, for instance spreaded chicken stuff like that they're they're big enough that if you're dipping like a big old chicken breast in there it's gonna fit you know and they're wide I just I really like these I really recommend those if you like to cook. And they're red this time, so that matches my kitchen. All right. Oh, another kitchen thing. Um, and I've, I'm copying this from a lot of other ladies that I've seen. They got these as this as a spoon holder. It is sold as a dish, um, I mean, a soap holder, a bar soap holder, but it's shaped like a mason jar, totally kitchen worthy and they were going to use this as a spoon rest and I thought that was an excellent idea especially because my like I have a, a pretty spoon rest that I have on my stove all the time but sometimes it gets really dirty and I'm in the middle of cooking dinner and I just need a another clean one so I got that for that reason all right boogie wipes nothing exciting um my kiddo was sick last week had a minor cold and the poor thing, you know, when you rub your nose over and over and over again, it just gets raw and these really help um, loosen up that mucus with that saline. And I was so excited to find these. And so was my mom. It was funny because she, she, um, she got a few of them too. But I find, I had already gotten the apple, but I found the peach, the lemon, and the pear. And they all smell really great. I already opened them up. Oh, good Lord. Open open them up and smell them all and I I don't know even just the jar is really cute I'm a, a shopper that goes by the look of the container so they got me sold on that one another container <laughs> seller is these cute little owls you guys have probably seen them um, if you remember they had the lotions and the lip glosses a while back and I honestly didn't even use mine. I have them on my shelf just because just they're cute little owls. 
but um, I got the green, blue, pink, and the purple. Oops, purple. Um, you guys, when you buy these, you want to check them out though because a lot of them had like little chips in the belly. Like the paint doesn't seem adhered very well to the bottle on some of them. So you just want to check, make sure you're not getting one that's scratched up. I'm sure you could fix it, but you know, just better just get one that's good. Um, the purple one is sweet cherry scented and I smell this and good lord does it smell sweet. It smells like the maraschino cherry juice, but it's really good. And then this one is strawberry scented. This one didn't have a tag and I forgot to check. Actually, I don't think there was another green one, but I want to say it's like a bubble gum or watermelon smell. If you guys know which scent this green one is, comment it. Comment, oh my gosh, comment it down below, please. I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, I'm, it, it smells, I don't know. I'm bad at identifying smells. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you guys could tell me, I'd really appreciate it. And then this one is apple scented. I think I'm just going to save, I might just save these as gifts or I might use them in the bathroom that I have decorated in a bird theme, but we shall see. Another thing I saw a lot of, or a few YouTube ladies talking about was buying one of these soap dispensing brushes and putting, I think they said dish soap and vinegar into the little dispenser here and then cleaning their shower. Now, my showers, they're, we were renters, but the, when they remodeled the house, they made the bathrooms really pretty. Like the tiles are really pretty in the shower and stuff like that but they are so textured they just like catch everything like every little splash of soap every little thing of shaving cream whatever is getting used in that shower it is getting stuck in the crevice like the little texture of the tile so I'm gonna try this hopefully the brush on this will get in there and get that off for me because that would be awesome oops all right moving on let's see I guess we'll continue with the cleaning products since I just went down that road. I got the Clorox Forganzia multi-purpose cleaners. Um, this is the spring and the morning sky. Um, just wanted to try them out. It's a perfect size for a buck. And then I also got the Clorox Forganzia um, multi-purpose cleaning wipes. And they're in the same scent, same brand. Just wanted to try those out. I also got a two pack of the nail guard sponges for the dishes. Um, I keep a bin of sponges and scrubbies like these under my kitchen sink. So I was getting low, so I just needed to restock. And these are the non-stick scrubbers. Um, great for dishes, sinks, bathrooms, showers, ideal for everyday use, safer non-stick cookware. And I have some pans that my brother got me a couple Christmases ago that I try to baby as best as possible. So, um, yeah, I need stuff that's going to clean them and clean them good, but not scratch them. So those work pretty good. And then five pack of Gain, sorry, Glad with Gain for Breeze Freshness. Five bags, tall kitchen, 13 gallon. I pick one up one. I can't talk today. I pick up one of these every time I go to the Dollar Tree at least once a week um, and just throw them in our stockpile that we were never out of trash bags. It's, I couldn't tell you if it's um, cheaper or more expensive for me as far as rather than going to like Walmart and buying a big box of them, but I mean, we're never out. It's a convenience thing. I remember they're there. They smell good. They work great. I mean, what, a, what more do you need? All right, another find that I finally found is the bamboo. I really, 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 really want the cactuses and, that have been coming out and the succulents because I have a DIY that I really want to share with you guys and I can't find them anywhere, but I found these. And I'm not sure I want to use these for that DIY. I mean, I could, but I really like these just the way they are. They're, I like bamboo. It's cute. So unless I find, I think I'll figure out I think what I'm going to do is make a few videos of different ways to DIY these into your home decor. I think that sounds like a good plan. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to come up with a plan. 
But anyway, these have like the really, I mean, it really looks like it is dirt, but it's really glued down. And they're cute. I got one in the white and one in the black. All right. All right. So I picked up these two um, things of rope, cords of rope. Um, they're diamond braided. They're the Tool Bench Hardware brand. You get 40 feet in each pack. Um, I put got these just to stick in my car because there's some, you know, just kind of as an emergency, just in case I need it type of situation where, I don't know, something, I'm able to tie something to my car that needs to be tying or I'm able to like tie the back of my car down because it's too full, whatever the case may be, or somebody else needs rope for something, I can help them out and don't have to worry about getting it back because it's a dollar whatever the case may be. Hopefully it's like strong enough that it's not gonna be a hazard <laughs> more than it is helpful, but I think it'll work fine in a pinch. So those are going in my vehicle. Um, I also, now that they have the spring stuff out, I also got a couple of these Hummers Galore Hummingbird Nectar specially formulated energy boost for hummingbirds, all natural, no, preservative, no preservatives or artificial color, makes 16 ounces of nectar, and it is a four ounce bag. So you get 16 ounces out of this four ounce bag, so that's pretty good. For our, we get the cutest little hummingbirds around here that I think there's like a family or a mom at least that has her little babies nearby because they're always the tiniest little hummingbirds and they're really pretty, and the baby really enjoys, well, all the kids really enjoy to see them, so. So that's what I got those for. I also picked up this container. They have these all the time. This is the shorter one. Yeah, this is the shorter one. Um, green lid, you know, just a container. I got this for my pinto beans because right now I have them in like an old repurposed ice cream bucket, like the party size bucket of ice cream. And it's just taking up too way too much space in my pantry. So we're trying to go vertical with that. Um... Speaking of food, I got my cookies. I always buy a couple of packs you know, every two weeks or so. I, I do not eat that many cookies. <laughs> Let me clear that up right now. But I do have coffee every morning and I can eat a couple in the morning with my coffee while I'm waking up and I just stockpile. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. Guilty pleasure, but just saying. All right. Israela really wanted these, my 11 year old. She wanted the Hungry Jack cheesy scallop potatoes and this says it's the family size so you get six servings um 100 real potatoes 6.1 ounces american culinary chef's best award so that's good no wonder she likes it <laughs> um yeah it's just hungry jack i can't remember what i saw the price on those in the store in the grocery store but i'm, I'm positive it was more than a dollar and then this is a staple item for my husband. He likes Crunch and Munch and Fiddle Faddle. Um, this week it's Crunch and Munch. Next week it might be Fiddle Faddle. He never knows what he's going to get. I just, they always have both. I just pick them up whatever I feel like picking up. I don't even eat it, but I choose it like I do, I guess. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's finish with the bread. I mean, the food. Let's finish with the food. Um, I got the uh, loaf of bread of this Sara Lee 100% whole wheat. This is one pound four ounces. And I also found the Sara Lee Artesano Bakery Bread Golden Wheat with a touch of honey, olive oil, and sea salt. This sounds really good for like a fancy sandwich or I don't know. That's all I can think of. <laughs> but um, these are this is one pound one pound four ounces as well. These are gonna go in my freezer for when we need bread. And then I found the ring holder. I could have sworn I got more than one of these, but. Okay, so I got one of these for my daughter's tablet because she doesn't like the case on it. It stands and everything, but I think it makes it too bulky for her little hands. And she gets frustrated and she just takes it out, which makes the tablet vulnerable to breaking. <laughs> but, um, so I got this for her. That way, if she wants me or her sisters to hold it, She's spoiled, but but if she wants us to hold it, you can put the our finger through there and hold it, or you, it says you can use it as a kickstand, which is great. 
Um, it does rotate 360, grip at any angle, compatible with most smartphones. The tablet's not huge, it's not like an iPad, so I'm hoping it'll work. It should. But, and got it in red, of course. Now this I thought was pretty cool, a pretty cool find. It's the Assured Compact Trimmer. Use on eyebrows, face, bikini line, quick and easy, gentle on skin, and it comes with a little brush to clean it. Uses one AA battery, not included. Um, yeah, it was just a new thing that I saw. It is not waterproof, though, so beware. But we will see how good it works, if at all. I honestly don't have, I don't have high hopes for it, I'm gonna be honest, but um, if it does work, that's awesome. All right, another cool find I found were finally these, um, hand sanitizers. And I got the Airheads, Tootsie Roll, Junior Mints, and good lord, where can I remember this? Tootsie Roll Pop. And that one's in Cherry. But the cases alone are cute and worth a buck to me. So um, I'll probably give these to my kiddos to have on their backpack and just something to hang on there and that way they can have some hand sanitizer on them with all the yuck going around, like the flu and everything else. It just... I don't want them to be germaphobes, but I want them to be germaphobes. <laughs> I want them to be aware and be, you know, wash their hands and stuff because it's it's scary how awful it's gotten this year. Anyway, all right. So the next couple of things I got for my husband, and we are a cosplaying family that we go to a couple of conventions um, a year. For okay, so I I get these for our cosplaying. Um, stuff because my husband makes masks and then I do I'm learning to sew but I do the sewing part because he does it but um he makes masks or armor or whatever we need for the character that we're going to dress up as for the occasion and the straps and especially these I put these, down, these buckles right here these buckles they are anywhere from five to seven dollars per one or two, depending how many you get in the package, at Joann's, which is crazy if you need, you know, quite a few. And then the D-rings, you know, I'm pretty sure it's a close to the same cost. You do get a few more in the package, but then the strapping is another three to five dollars a yard. This, I'm not sure how the yardage we get, but we're gonna cut it up anyway, and we usually only need, you know, a, not very many feet, if any, and then getting four D-rings and the buckle alone for a buck is way easier. So that's a little hack for anybody that can use it. Um, if you need strapping and buckles, buy dog collars at the Dollar Tree. It's, it's super awesome. Super awesome deal. So I got him four of those and I do, I won't show you guys this every time because we do pick up quite a few every time I go just to, um, so he has them there, but yeah, just wanted to share that guy. Share. I'm getting so frustrated with my mouth. I cannot talk today. I just wanted to share that with you. All right. Last thing. Is this the last thing? Um, anyway, I wanted to get this for him. It's the five pack of the poster board. Yes, you can get the giant poster board over there. But he's going to cut it down anyway. And... This takes up way less room. So I would rather buy him these pre-cut sheets because he only needs, you know, a certain amount of space to make, he uses these to make the patterns for whatever he's building. He only needs this much space, if, or less, to make whatever he's making the pattern on. So, I mean, this is just easier for him and more convenient and less One more thing. clutter for us. Um, I got this, I did see, oh gosh, I can't remember the channel. I saw somebody make a bobby pins case out of this and it turned out really cute. But what I'm thinking of using it for is my daughter's, my little daughter's um, hair ties and she has like little clips and little tiny hair ties and bows for her hair and I think this would work perfect. Um, I went to the container store and I couldn't find anything like this so I think this will work perfect and it's plastic and you know, I imagine it's pretty sturdy. I've seen a few people do some DIYs with these so. We're gonna try that out and I'll just throw the Q-tips and the cotton round, or the, goodness gracious, cotton balls <laughs> and cotton pads in my vanity or the kids' bathroom so they can use those. 
and that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long of a haul. I was hoping this was smaller than my last ones, but I think it's because I buy multiples and go a few times. It's because I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt for those succulents and those cactuses because I, I really want to show you guys this DIY. So um, hopefully I find the other, the cactuses and the other um, materials that I need because it's like all of a sudden I, I see them there all the time and then, well, the other materials, not the cactuses. I see it there all the time and now that I need it, it's not there. So go figure. But anyway. If you like this video, Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel and want to see more of how I can't talk. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys. This is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you. I'm fairly new, so I do appreciate all the love, and I will continue to appreciate all the love from you guys. Um, my subscribers that I already have, I, you guys have, like... I'm so surprised that I've gotten as many likes and views and subscriptions as I have. And granted, it's not very many, but I, it's not what I expected at all. Like, I did not expect to be getting the ball rolling this quickly. So, I really appreciate you guys. I just want to say thank you so much for giving me a chance. So, um, I will see you guys later.